Gretzky scores? Let's go to the replay. Then, play it back instant. Whereabouts, he's on a real magical mystery tour. It's a mystery where he is. And it may be magical how someone so sick can seem so normal to a lot of doctors. Mike Watkins is there now. Any word, Mike, and where Michael's hiding? John, with all the rumors now floating around Europe, I could give you a real long answer, but I'm going to keep it short. Suffice it to say, the search is still on for Michael Jackson here in Europe tonight, uh, but we do have some fairly credible evidence that he is located here in London. He didn't leave. You know, we've tracked his, his progression from Mexico City to London, and we believe that he's probably still here seeking some kind of drug treatment from a specialist that was recommended to him by his dear friend Elton John. We believe that he's in a clinic here, but let me tell you, the rumors are coming and going almost by the hour. There have been sightings in France, there have been sightings in Switzerland. One of the local newspapers here, The Sun, is, uh, has a rather ingenious uh, kind of gimmick going. They're offering 10,000 pounds, which is the equivalent of about 15,000 U.S. dollars for any credible sighting of Michael Jackson. They've got some interesting tips coming their way. My favorite is he's been seen bungee jumping off the Tower Bridge or having tea with Princess Diana. Another paper not to be outdone is now offering a full expense paid trip to Disney World for anybody who cites Michael Jackson. But of course there is a serious side to all this. Earlier today I talked to a private investigator who's representing the young boy who's now making the sexual uh, abuse allegations against Michael Jackson. That private investigator was in Chicago this morning. He told me he's on his way here to Europe to search for Michael Jackson. Obviously a lot of people want to find out where Michael is to see if there's any validity to the fact uh, or to the, the claims of his attorneys when they say that he's drug addicted and he's now getting treatment. People want to see if that's true or if he's as some people would have us believe, he's simply hiding and trying to evade the law and trying to avoid criminal, uh, possible criminal prosecution. Well, uh, Mike, what do you think? What do you hear about his being hooked on painkillers? John, I've, I've tracked Michael Jackson and uh, the Dangerous Tour for the last two months through Singapore, through Mexico, and I can tell you in the last 10 days when we were in Mexico, I talked to no less than five medical experts, uh, three doctors and two dentists, all of whom had recently evaluated, examined Michael Jackson. Immediately after their examinations, they came and talked to me and they said that Michael Jackson was in excellent health uh, aside from a toothache. And so if we're to believe those people, it's really hard to believe his attorneys when they come on the, the television yesterday and say that he's been a mess for weeks and his life was, you know, he was unable to tour and unable to perform and unable to function. Either the, lawyer, or the lawyers are lying or the doctors are lying, and I don't think you can really have it both ways. You know, um, I'm ahead. sorry, Mike, I, I was just going to say that, that, that the rumors and the speculation keeps growing here in this country that uh, he may pull another Roman Polanski type thing and just not come back to this country. We've certainly heard that. Also, while we were in Mexico, John, I want to point out uh, Michael Jackson is involved in another legal matter. It's a copyright infringement lawsuit and a lawyer representing some of the people in that lawsuit went down and interviewed him for about nine hours. He evidently said that after this nine hour interaction, Michael Jackson showed no signs of drug addiction, seemed to be functioning very well. I think we have a comment from that attorney now. He was uh, appeared earlier on A Current Affair. We were not informed of any addiction problem. Uh, we could not see any evidence of an, of an addiction problem. The witness was alert. He didn't slur. He answered questions just as he had in 1989. This is a very smart man. That's it uh, for here from us, Mike. Uh, continue, uh, continue the hunt. Good, good hunting. Thank you, John. <laughs> right. Let us know as soon as you find something. Uh, a, uh, a, a, a woman dressed up as Michael was busy at his star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, getting fans to sign a petition and support it at his star. The fans say they don't believe all the accusations, and they want to see him back performing. And is this personal crisis going to wreck his business empire? Fox Business News adds up the figures for you about that in just a few minutes. Coran. And John, Joey Buttafuoco is a talk of Nassau County Jail. He is the newest celebrity inmate. Confessed serial killer Joel Rifkin is there also. Joey says lust landed him in jail. More on that, but first. Amy Atkins caught up exclusively with his long-suffering wife, Mary Jo. Mary Jo Buttafuoco is settling into the role of inmate's wife. Fox News was there as she made her first visit to her incarcerated husband, bringing him a brown bag gift to make his newfound home more comfortable. That new home is a six by nine foot cell, a floor above this one and very much the same. 
a bed, a toilet, three cinder block walls, and bars which are locked 22 hours a day. As for his meals... He breakfast this morning was scrambled eggs, and I know he had uh, butter and bread, and I know he had uh, coffee, juice, uh, and I know that there were two cereals that were offered as well. Joey Buttafuoco may be eating the same food as everybody else, but he is being treated different. He will be isolated from the rest of the jail population for an indefinite period of time, mostly for his own protection. I'm just totally blown away. I really am. I can't, I can't believe that, I, that I'm in here. But Afuco will spend the next six months of his life here at the Nassau County Jail for the statutory rape of Amy Fisher. His attorney believes the sentence was harsh. Uh, Joey is a hard-working taxpayer who has done a lot of plus things for society. I, I don't believe that person needed uh, six months in jail. Dominic Barber says Joey was sentenced because of who he is, not what he did. He got sentenced because of what he did and what the outcome of his actions led to. Um, I know of no other statutory rape case where the victim goes out and, and tries to murder the, uh, the wife of, of the man who's involved in the statutory rape. Uh, I don't think you can compare one case to another unless the facts are similar. I may feel we should not have cameras in the court. Marvin Goodman, the judge who sentenced Amy Fisher, spoke out for the first time to a group of elementary school students. Because this case attracted so much attention, was it treated any differently by the judicial system, do you think? No, I don't think it was treated any differently, and it's amazing to me why it received such publicity. Out of dozens of questions, just one had to do with the fisher Buttafuoco saga, but everyone knew who was at the center of it all. Amy Fisher! I'm Amy Atkins, Fox News. And we'll have a whole lot more on what Joey had to say and why Mary Jo still cannot believe he really did have that session with Amy a little later in our broadcast, John. All right, you can tell us now how you feel in our Fox News telepoll. What do you think? Did Joey get what he deserved? If you think he should have gone to jail, then you can give us a call at 1-900-786-8585. If you say no, he should not have gone to jail, then you can call us at 1-900-786-8787. Now, the call will cost you 79 cents. We will have results for you a little bit later in the program. Now you're going to meet a young man who, by all rights, should be dead. Instead, he was able to talk to Bob O'Brien about his amazing recovery. Back in early May, Colin Donovan was in a New Brunswick hospital close to death with no heartbeat or blood pressure. The Rutgers University lacrosse star had been stabbed in the heart during a fight at an off-campus party. He was in a deep coma for more than a week. Colin is back on his feet now, but still struggling to overcome the brain damage he suffered when surgeons were performing emergency open-heart surgery. They found the, uh, the hole in the heart from the stab wound. Tried to, as they were trying to close it, the heart stopped beating. And it stopped beating for several minutes. During that time, the surgeons were right there, and they put their hands on his heart and squeezed the heart so that the heart could continue to pump blood through his body. But the damage to Colin's brain caused by the lack of oxygen has meant a very long struggle to recover. I can write one to two words, and that's about it. You know, it's very, you know, sloppy or whatever, you know, like a five-year-old would write or a six-year-old. And uh, all doing physical stuff with my right hand and grasping stuff that you, uh, you think is, you know, until you lose it, you don't know what you had. And Colin had it all. He was a star midfielder on the Rutgers University Scarlet Knights lacrosse team. Several of his teammates were at the party when Colin was stabbed. We asked him if he has any advice for others who get into such potentially violent situations. Just try not to be, you know, the uh, macho guy or whatever happened, you know, just, just, you know, try to blow everything off because it's not worth what can happen to you because obviously what happened to me wasn't worth whatever it was, the initial little reason it was, wasn't worth that all it is. Nothing can be so, you know, worth this much. The Highland Park, New Jersey youth who stabbed Colin, 18-year-old Chadrick Chappell, was convicted of juvenile delinquency in family court and sentenced to three years probation, fined $60, and ordered to perform 150 hours of community service. Colin would not talk about Chappell today, but in a pre-sentencing letter to the court, Colin wrote this. I find it hard to think that Mr. Chappell is at home while I am still struggling to read a single page. In Edison, New Jersey, Bob O'Brien, Fox News.
A shouting match in Jersey City, New Jersey, over the governor's election. The Republican mayor of Jersey City, Brett Schundler, demanded an apology from the Democrats. He says Democrat accusations that people were paid to suppress blacks from voting are an insult and not true. Members of the NAACP got angry with his remarks. To stand there today and question the motives of the state NAACP, you're absolutely off track. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to get your facts straight. I think if we but Mayor Schindler says he does have his facts straight. He says Democrats just cannot face the facts that Christy Whitman won fair and square. In other news, police are saying justice is what finally is being served at a fast food restaurant in the Bronx. The owner was supposed to be selling fried chicken, but now he's under arrest tonight for selling guns to go. Christopher Jones has that story. When Mama's Fried Chicken opened up for business a couple of years ago across the street from the Herman Ritter Junior High School in the Bronx, it looked like just another fast food joint. But soon, the neighborhood knew that the man they called Mohammed, who ran the place, was selling a lot more than chicken. Obviously, uh, uh, some deadly side dishes were being served at uh, Mama's Fried Chicken uh, in the Bronx. Uh, this investigation, as the district attorney said, has uh, went on for 11 weeks. Over 60 guns were sold, were purchased, and a pound of uh, cocaine as well. If you wanted drugs or guns in the South Bronx, Muhammad at Mama's was the man to go to, and everybody knew it. If he tried to sell me a gun for $25, uh -huh. which I didn't uh, buy. Even the kids knew this was no place for chicken. People that live around here knew about it. And it what happened? Why weren't the police here to stop it, do you think? Because, um, you know, they ain't they they there they they say nothing to the police. That's why, because they, they thought, you know, they thought that they might get shot and stuff. They were scared. We come out of school and we go to the store, the chicken place, and then these people, like men, and they be coming in there, giving their money, and they be selling them drugs and bringing out guns. Mohammed uh, boasted in a uh, telephone conversation that he had sold over a million guns. Obviously, we have to give him a little leeway for braggadocio, but this is a, uh, a significant case, uh, a major case as far as gun dealing in the Bronx and in the, the city of uh, New York. While the manager known as Mohammed is finally under arrest and could spend the rest of his life in jail, many people here in this neighborhood wonder what took the police so long. For many months they have known you could come to Mama's Fried Chicken and order what you wanted. Regular, extra crispy, or extra deadly. Christopher Jones, Fox News. Still ahead, more of our exclusive interview with Joey and what Mary Jo says about his affair with Amy. A Bronx woman breaks down on the stand and tells what drove her to murder. And then more of our special report on New York and the bridge that makes drivers mad as hell. And more of Penny's interview with Howard Stern. You'll get to see a side of him that, that'll surprise you. I don't feel well in real situations. The only place that I'm really truly comfortable is when I'm on the radio. Fire engulfs an apartment complex, and emergency teams race to save a man trapped inside on Rescue 911. Tomorrow at 6.30 on Fox 5. Her name is Aurora. Kiss of the Spider Woman. Winner of seven 1993 Tony Awards, including Best Musical, Best Actress, Cheetah Rivera. Best Featured Actor, Anthony Cravello. Kiss of the Spider-Woman at the Broadhurst Theatre. Call Telecharge. It's a first. Now at Macy's One Day Mattress Sale. Get 50% savings plus an extra 10% off plus another 10% off Red Star Specials. And pay nothing until May 1994 with our double deferred billing. Save on Sealy, Serta, Simmons, Stearns & Foster. It's super savings, double deferred billing, and more. Macy's spectacular one-day mattress sale. Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Or dial 1-800-MACY-BED. Exporting. It's no easy game. That's why PSE&G created a way to help its business customers avoid wasting a lot of time, energy, and money. It's called TradeLink New Jersey, a new export assistance program. TradeLink export experts can get your product moving quickly by getting you the right information right away. So make the right move and call today. TradeLink, another way PSENG gives New Jersey business the power to succeed. 
This portion of the news brought to you by your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealers. If you've been thinking about playing the market this year, you'll want to take advantage of the stock sale now at your Jeep and Eagle dealer, where you can save up to $1,500 on Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo V8 or invest in a sophisticated Eagle Vision. Get a great return on Jeep Cherokee Sport with air at no charge or close on a legendary Jeep Wrangler. But don't delay. With deals like these, there's sure to be a run on our stock. Now held over at your Tri-State Jeep and Eagle dealer. A Bronx woman is on the stand trying to convince a jury she shot her husband in self-defense. Rosanna Scotto says prosecutors say it was jealousy. Her husband was 15 years younger and picking up with another woman. Patricia Corriera apologized and broke down as she tried to reason why she killed her husband. I'm responsible for his death, but I didn't even, I didn't even push him that night. I didn't do anything to him that night, but I shot him. The 50-year-old woman described her volatile relationship with her husband, Anthony, who was 35 years old. Her attorney painted her as a battered spouse who, after years of an abusive marriage, fought back during a heated argument last March. Mrs. Corriera testified her husband left her Bronx apartment only to return more enraged because he thought she called the police on him for roughing her up. I started to scream, just get off me. Leave me alone. Then he told me he was gonna kill, he was gonna kill me, and what did you do? I don't, I don't remember even why, but I, I got in my back pocket and I pulled the gun out, and I didn't aim. I didn't even aim. I just, I just shot. How many times? I shot twice. Mrs. Corriera then called police. He was beating me up. Anthony Corriera died. The couple was separated at the time. Prosecutor Bruce Burns tried to show that Mrs. Corriera was still jealous and still cared for her husband, even though he had gotten his girlfriend pregnant. In a week of your shooting him, you were still sexually involved in him. Isn't that correct? I didn't spend every day thinking about all those violent things, because if I would have, I couldn't have gone on. And I did have sexual relations with Tony about a week before this incident. Patricia Corriera's murder trial is winding up. Her attorney says he just has a few more witnesses to call, hopefully by the end of this week, so the jury will be able to make up their mind by next. From the Bronx Criminal Courthouse, Rosanna Scotto, Fox News. New York City Council Speaker Peter Vallone has his eye on Albany. He is exploring a run for governor and will hold a fundraiser this winter. Mr. Vallone says his decision will rest in part on whether Governor Cuomo decides to run for re-election. This is not to run. That's something I certainly would be taking a very serious look at, and you can't take a serious look at a statewide race unless you have the uh, monetary assets to go with it, and that's why they're having the fundraising. Robert Wagner Jr. will be remembered at funeral services at St. Patrick's Cathedral on Friday. Early test results show he died of natural causes. He was 49. His body was found in his hotel room in Texas. The son of a mayor, the grandson of a senator, Wagner served as president of the Board of Education and deputy mayor under Ed Koch. Mr. Koch called him a prince of the city and a man of uncommon decency. The most courteous person I have ever met, always conscious, uh, of uh, the needs of others, and uh, I think that's part of royalty, <laughs> frankly. That comes from the tradition of public service. A lifelong Democrat, Wagner broke ranks and endorsed Rudolph Giuliani for mayor and served on his transition team. Hi, Mr. Giuliani was lending his support to the homeless tonight. He and his wife Donna were joined by Michael Douglas and his wife Deandra, and Miss America, Kimberly Aiken, at a fundraising banquet at a Park Avenue church. The mayor-elect promised some new ideas on solving the problem. It's a, uh, a problem that New York City has to do better uh, working on and trying to reduce the numbers of people that find themselves without housing. It's also something that we have to deal with from the point of view of the quality of life in New York City. Money from this dinner went to the Partnership for the Homeless. Coming up next on the 10 o'clock news, why the lawyers at the Pentagon are studying a judge's ruling on homosexuals in the military. Also, will all the accusations hurt Michael Jackson at the bank? Fox Business News adds it all up when we return. 
Wednesday, one of these three friends will be accused of date rape. She's saying that you pushed and pushed until she had no choice. On an all-new 90210, then tragedy can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time. Wednesday, it strikes someone at Melrose Place. We've lost the pulse. Code blue! Tomorrow, beginning at 8 on Fox 5. Mama. Listen, his first word. I'm calling my mother. You're calling Hong Kong now? We're with AT&T. So we pay the highest first minute and additional minute rate, 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. The discount rate, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. But we have to wait till after 11 p.m. for the real discount. Why wait? MCI has a new way you can call anytime. Now we give you low fixed rates 24 hours a day, plus the lowest priced international calls to any two numbers. For the easiest way to save on international calls, join friends around the world anytime. It's Macy's Spectacular One Day Sale, Wednesday, with special hours, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. For him, outerwear, 25 to 30 percent off. For her, fabulous coats, 30 to 40 percent off. Fall shoes, 25 percent off already reduced prices. All jewelry, 20 to 50 percent, plus an extra 10 percent off. For home, trade in your old vacuum, get $20 off any sale price to her. Plus, three hours of extra savings starting 8 a.m. Macy's One Day Sale, Wednesday. Kids will always find a way to come down with something. One day they're fine, and the next day they're sick. That's why you need health coverage from HIP. You get no surprises. Your kids are covered. So while they may never give you peace of mind... Mom! What you doing in school today? I'm nothing. <laughs> you can get it from us. Tonight's business report brought to you by Mazda. Mazda, it just feels right. Get the new Mazda Protégé with front-wheel drive, a bigger engine than Civic, Corolla Standard, and Sentra Sedan, the best basic warranty in its class, and lots of room for fun. And if you're in the mood for value, get a great deal at your Mazda dealer now. We make the exceptional affordable. Mazda. It just feels right. It has taken him six years, but tonight, Joseph Steffen is heading back to the Navy as an officer. Back in 1987, Steffen was forced to resign from the U.S. Naval Academy just six weeks before graduation, after he admitted he was gay. But today, a federal appeals court in Washington ordered the Navy to give Steffen his diploma and his commission. At a news conference here in New York, Steffen said he could have lied, but he does not regret telling the truth. Sure, I would have had the diploma, but it wouldn't have meant anything to me. Today, I have the opportunity to have both retained my honor as an individual and as a midshipman and to have my diploma. Pentagon officials say they will abide by the ruling, but they still can appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. John? Well, Koran, Wall Street seems to think the president's going to win the NAFTA vote. The market had a good day. The Dow Industrial Average set a new record, in fact. It closed up more than 33 points, broke the old record by about 13 points. There were a few more winning stocks than losers on the big board. The price of a share was up 17 cents. But the rally didn't extend to smaller and emerging stocks. Over in the Amex, the price of a share was down 9 cents. The index was down 3 points. The Nasdaq composite was down over half a point. All right, now let's talk about Michael Jackson from a business point of view and how the accusations against him might affect his future if they turn out to be true. Here's our Fox Business News report. Michael Jackson may be caught in the middle of a legal jam and a public relations nightmare, but he is not hurting for cash. Well, sure, he stands to lose millions because his future with Pepsi is up in the air, as are his other endorsement deals. But the fact remains that Michael's net worth is somewhere around $150 million. And he has still got the support of his biggest backer, Sony Music. They just released a statement saying, Sony Music's support for Michael Jackson remains unwavering and unconditional. Michael is richer than Croesus. I mean, there's no way in the world that he's ever going to see any economic hard times. 
Here are just a few reasons why Michael's riding so high in the financial saddle. Pepsi has reportedly paid him close to $25 million over the past decade to sell their soda. He's been pulling in more than $3 million a year for owning the Beatles music catalog. And he's pocketed another $10 million a year in royalties from the sales of his hits from the Jackson 5 and his solo career. Michael Jackson doesn't need to produce another record. And, you know, he's still going to be making his millions off of Thriller and everything else that he's made over the years. But while his personal wealth may not be in doubt, his personal status as an entertainer and industry innovator most certainly are. I think he can overcome it if there is an absolute, unambiguous decision in his favor in this case. Long range Michael Jackson, Inc. goes on. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, I guess it remains to be seen. And that's the Fox Business News for Tuesday, November 16th. Still ahead on the 10 o'clock news, the worst bridge in the city. It's enough to make you mad as hell. And there are plenty of smiles for Frank Sinatra fans. We'll tell you why. And there are loads of temptations for big stars like Howard Stern. He tells Penny how he resists. Plus more Joey and how lust did him in. When the lust part gets satisfied, the guilt comes back tenfold. If you've been waiting to buy a new car, now is the time. Your Dodge dealers have just received a special shipment of Dodge Shadows, and they're ready to deal. Right now, you can get one with power steering and airbag, power brakes, and with $1,000 cash back, you can get it all for around eight four. Even better, come in now and you can take advantage of a low down payment and absolutely no monthly payments till next year. Dodge Shadow. Hurry in while supplies last. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. It's Macy's One Day Sale, Wednesday. The perfect time to save on all your holiday electronics. Get a bonus merchandise certificate of $50 to $100 on every camcorder and every big screen TV, 30 inches or larger. Sony with 8 to 1 zoom, just $599, plus a $50 certificate. Sony's 32-inch stereo TV, just $1,099, plus a $100 certificate. Macy's unbelievable One Day Sale. Shop 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Wednesday. A toast to mirth, to merriment, to manslaughter, to pain tonight. Adam's Family Values, rated PG-13, starts Friday, November 19th. They brought computer technology to a tradition-bound business, and by their first anniversary reached a volume of 2.2 billion shares. Their stock market soon became the model for markets around the world. And today, 20 years later, NASDAQ is trading stock in more companies than any other market on Earth. You can't buy shares in this innovative, fast-growing company, but you can share in their success. NASDAQ, the stock market for the next 100 years. Don't you wish you could be this comfortable with all your decisions? Acura. Some things are worth the price. Joey, Amy, and Mary Jo. What may be the final chapter in their twisted love saga was closed when Joey Buttafuoco went to jail. But before the doors closed in his cell, he talked exclusively to a current affair. Lust sometimes takes over and, what can I say, it's very painful. The lust that took over turned the tide for Joey Buttafuoco. Fresh ocean air was a past privilege. I don't have a problem with going in. I can take care of myself. He goes to jail for having sex with Amy Fisher when she was underage, an affair that would change his life forever. Did you make love to Amy Fisher? <sighs> yes, I did. I was flattered. I'm a 35-year-old guy. I mean, you know, who wouldn't be? Wouldn't you be? A 35-year-old man who appeared to have a great marriage. When he was 21, Joey married Mary Jo. It was a solid marriage, but Joey had problems. 
He admits he snorted a fortune in cocaine and got hooked on booze, pills, and pot. He had a stroke in his 20s, and Mary Jo nursed him to recovery. I still went out. That's the insidiousness of the drug. It's just so greedy, it takes. And then came another temptation, Amy Fisher. Her father brought her into Joey's auto shop to get her car fixed. She came back 14 times. She left the car, she needed a ride home. I drove her home. We went to a motel instead. And we had relations. And I'm not proud of it. It was a very big mistake probably the biggest mistake of my life. Was this purely lustful sex, or was there some an affectionate affair going on? Strictly lustful sex. Here you are, sleeping with Amy Fisher on a pretty continual basis. Surely, guilt. Absolutely. But la lust sometimes takes over, and what can I say? It's very painful. Very painful, especially when the affair exploded 10 months ago, May 19th. Amy Fisher came to the Butterfuco's door and shot Mary Jo. My doorbell rang one day, and Amy Fisher came to my door. I, I see the front of my house, and I see blood all over the place. I mean, all over the place. It was a mess. The bullet shot them to fame. They are celebrities at parties. <laughs> Joey even made an MTV video called Snake Voodoo Man, where he poses with an Amy lookalike. Mary Jo got a cameo role. It's hanging around with that dull guy, Joe Botafuco. Dull, hardly. And through it all, Mary Jo still will not believe her Joey cheated. I choose to believe, based on the person that I know and the person that I live with, and the person that I have spent many, many years with, and the person whose bed I share, that he did not. But Joey admitted he did it. He pleaded guilty to statutory rape, and tonight finished the first day of his six-month-long sentence. And you still have time to tell us what you think in tonight's Fox Telepoll. Did Joey get what he deserved? If you think he should have gone to jail, then call 1-900-786-8585. If you say no, he should not have gone to jail, then call this number, 1-900-786-8787. Each call will cost you 79 cents. Of course, we'll have results for you a bit later on in our broadcast. All right, now your chance to help make our city a safer place and get a reward for doing it. The police are looking for a killer. They have a name. They need a location. That's where you come in. Maybe you can help them find one of New York's most wanted. Tonight the police are looking for a man who gunned down a father in cold blood in the store where he worked in Rigo Park, Queens. Now this man's name is Oscar Fernandez. He's out there somewhere and the police need your help to track him down. On July 24th, 1993, uh, Mr. George Palopoulos was the victim of a homicide. Uh, George was working as a night manager in a 24-hour supermarket on 108th Street in the uh, Rigo Park section of Queens. Two suspects entered the store. One stayed at the front door, the other went to the counter and demanded money at gunpoint from two clerks. As one clerk turned to get the money, the suspect fired at the clerks. He wounded both of them seriously. Then the gunman ran into George Popolis. Now he's the night manager, and he shot and killed him. To this date, two arrests have been made uh, regarding this crime. One male is outstanding, and that happens to be the person who fired the gun. The person we're looking for is named Oscar Fernandez. He's a male Hispanic, approximately 19 years old about six foot one, between 180 and 200 pounds. If you have any idea at all where Oscar Fernandez is, then pick up the telephone and call the police. Area code 212-577-TIPS. Anything you tell them is absolutely confidential. You don't even have to tell them your name. And there is a reward of up to $1,000 for any information that leads to the arrest and the indictment of Oscar Fernandez. You know, you can make a difference if you give a damn. Help catch one of New York's most wanted.
All right, still ahead, Penny will show you the real Howard Stern up close and exposed. And then more of John's special series, What Makes New Yorkers Mad as Hell? Tonight, one of the worst traffic trouble spots around the city. I could really use a vacation. That kicks me up and takes me to exciting new I could really use a vacation. Where I live life instead of just reading about Discover the continent of Puerto Rico. Only a continent could offer so many great vacation experiences. Only Puerto Rico puts it all within your reach. The 94 Buicks have only been out for about a month now, Joe. Yes, and already the Buick dealers are expecting a shortage of some models. Oh, like the new specially priced Regal, Joe. It's no wonder, Jim, the 94 Buicks are designed with more of today's consumers' needs in mind than ever. An airbag, anti-lock brakes, and environmentally friendly air conditioning systems are standard in every 94 Buick. Mm -hmm. Over 250 improvements this year, including more powerful, more fuel-efficient engines. And this year's Regal shows Buick's commitment to provide more real value, too. The two-door is priced from just $17,890, and sedan is just $18,995. Five, both with a value pack list of features. Both with attractive lease payments. And don't forget about the Century, Joe. Yep, just $14,995. Value pack with a long list of features. That's one heck of a family sedan. The safest in America. So visit your local Buick dealer this month and enter the Buick dealer drive away sweepstakes. Test drive a Buick and tell us what you think in 20 words or less. You can win the use of a Buick for a year. And you'll see why we say. One test drive will convince you. Buick dealers offer real value you can afford. It was very nice. Let's just get to like the exciting part here. He <laughs> shaves in the nude. And he's very generous with his shirts. And he smells incredible. Oh, really? Mm. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I like this guy. Mm. Tell me, what is this fabulous scent? It comes in a box with dots. Dots? And dots. Herrera for men from Carolina Herrera. You mean if I call my son in college the most, Sprint pays half. Now there's a new reason to switch to the most. What if I told you he goes to college in Japan? No problem. Call anyone, anywhere, anytime, and Sprint will split the bill on the person you call most. I don't suppose there's anything you could do about his tuition bill. Sorry, we have to draw the line somewhere. Call now and save 50% with Sprint's calling plan the most. This portion of the news brought to you by Dreyfus Understanding People. When it comes to investing, we like to go for it. <laughs> Our money takes advantage of the market like the big boys do. Who are the big boys? <laughs> What's our motto? Diversity, Diversity is the spice of life. Stocks, bonds, bonds money, money markets. markets. Dreyfus continually scans the market. Here's Dreyfus. Our other motto is never invest on an empty stomach. That's also important. <laughs> Last night, you and I fought traffic together in the Big Apple. It's one of the facts of life that can drive you nuts in this town. But does it really have to be as bad as they're planning when it comes to all this construction going on? Why does it take so long? That's enough to make you mad as hell. You know, if you wanted to find one place that seems to contain everything that anger and frustrate New Yorkers, this would probably be at the Queen side of the 59th Street Bridge. I mean, here you got it all. You got the noise, you got the horns blowing, you got rude drivers, you got litter, you got graffiti, you got the squeegee people, you got the panhandlers, and you have the bridge itself, a sign that it takes forever to get anything done in this town. And this happens every day. Just before the evening rush, cars crawl along in two lines, waiting to get to the lower level, and one after another, cars and cabs cut in. It's bumper to bumper, bottleneck hell. How long have you been waiting here? More than half an hour. What's the problem? The people cut in front of us. They don't have no manners at all. You know how many times I sit right here and see accidents because they bump into somebody, fenders? They don't care. They just drive off and go about their business. It's terrible. And when you ask these guys why they cut in. I'm driving taxi, I have to go to the Manhattan, I'm making some money. So I'm trying to go early as soon as I can, so make make money. Well, do you know that it slows things down for everybody when you do that? 
I know, but what am I going to do? I've been I'm around here a long time. Part of the problem is that the bridge is half closed because of reconstruction, like every other East River crossing. For the temporary inconvenience of doing this uh, reconstruction by the state, the, in the long run, the motorists will be better off. But you try telling that to the people who've been putting up with the work on this bridge, work that started back in 1982, more than 11 years ago. And we're only talking renovation work here, not new construction, like this Citicorp building, smiling down on the 59th Street Bridge. It took Citicorp less than two years to build this skyscraper. It'll be another year before this bridge is done. And remember, we New Yorkers pay the highest taxes in the United States. And if there's something about New York City that makes you mad as hell, give me a call, leave a message. The number is 212-452-3806. Old Blue Eyes has not stopped belting out the hits, and tonight Frank Sinatra adds another honor to his career. Sinatra is the first recipient of Capitol Records Tower of Achievement Award given out tonight at the Waldorf Astoria. The award honors Sinatra for his lasting contribution to popular music. All right, still ahead on the 10 o'clock news. If you think you've heard everything from Howard Stern, just you wait till you hear what Penny has to say. And then Carl has sports. The Knicks head out on the first night of a Texas swing. Phil? Coran, we're in front of Lord & Taylor in Midtown Manhattan, and the Christmas display, it's up. Forest of imagination. We'll take a closer look at that. Plus, we'll tell you about our rapidly changing weather. That's coming up next. <laughs> It seems Europeans have a passion for certain things, American. And one of them happens to be the reliable, efficient delivery of a certain American delivery company, UPS. Fact is, we've built the most comprehensive delivery network in Europe. So next time you need something shipped there, use the outfit Europeans find, well, so fashionable. UPS, the package delivery company more companies count on. I like the Home Depot atmosphere. I like the, the excitement that the store generates. In our paint department, we have a number of excellent products. One of our finest is Bear Paint. Bear Premium Plus, for example, is just terrific. It's our premium quality interior paint. It's super durable and can handle thousands of scrubs. Bear is made with pure, clean titanium for brighter, cleaner colors. In my opinion, ordinary paint just can't compare with Bear. Right off the bat, you're going to get the right selection, and you're going to get the right customer service, which is the important thing. We figure there are two basic ways to sell you a new Plymouth Sundance. The first is to tell you what it comes with. The other is to tell you what it goes for. Tonight's weather report brought to you by Siemens Furniture. For the way to a beautiful home, see Siemens first. Announcing the furniture buying opportunity of the year, the one-day free holiday inventory liquidation at Siemens. Tomorrow only, 10 to 10, the Northeast's largest furniture retailer reduces every item in every Siemens showroom with guaranteed delivery before the holidays on specially tagged merchandise. Plus, for the last time this year, get 12 months free interest, 50 to $600 savings on all Siemens furniture, 12 months free interest, Wednesday only, 10 to 10, Siemens, the sensible way to a beautiful home. See Siemens first. Some of the top chefs in New York were cooking up a storm tonight to benefit children with AIDS. People shelled out $200 apiece to wine and dine at the Cooks for Kids fundraiser. Yours truly helped the 21 Club dish out their famous Maryland crab cakes. And Rosanna Scotto and Lynn Brown also helped serve those with big appetites. All money raised goes for the nutritional needs of kids with AIDS at our city hospitals. Let's see what Phil's serving up, Phil. Coran, this is really something. We're back out at Lord & Taylor, and as I said earlier, Forest of Imagination. That's the theme to this Christmas exhibit. 
Granted, Christmas is still over a month away, but uh, they put this up today. And let me tell you, t let's just take a look at some of the exhibits here. You have the spider, and yeah, I guess you would call that a gnome, and you have uh, somebody with a leaf down there. Let's go down to this window. Hey, what do you think? You like the stuff? I guess. You guess? Well, well, which part you like the most? You like the spider or these singing guys over here? Singing guys. Oh, you do, huh? Yeah, look at them. That's a nice tune, isn't it? Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, you want to tell me uh, what the high was today? Uh, 60 degrees. Very good. Future meteorologist right here. Along with that high of 60 degrees, a low of 49 today. That 60 degree reading was 20 degrees cooler than yesterday, but still above average. The uh, record high 72, record low 17. All right, let's take a look at our satellite right now. You can see a big storm system off to our southwest, and that is heading our way. Currently, we have 50 degrees, but I want to show you this on satellite because that is the one that's heading our way. You can see as it continues to move to the east, the clouds will start to arrive as we head toward daybreak, and I think by midday tomorrow, we're going to start to see a very continuous rain, which should last into tomorrow night. Sur tomorrow's surface map shows that rain getting in here. First thing tomorrow it should be dry, then the rain starts moving. That warm front though is never really going to get through here, so it's certainly not going to turn all that warm. And let me show you a change happening late in the week. This is the upper air pattern we're expecting on Friday. Arctic cold air moving into the Great Lakes and some of that will get in here as we head into the weekend. So a far change heading our way as we head towards Saturday, Sunday. Forecast, mostly clear, cool tonight, mid-40s in the city, 30s away from the city tomorrow. Cloudy rain developing by midday and cooler with highs in the low to mid-50s. Next five days, you can see temperatures generally in the 50s until late Saturday when temperatures will fall and highs Sunday around 40 degrees. This is just part of the exhibit, Forest of Imagination. There's two more windows. If you get a chance, come out and check it out. John? Don't tell me anything more about Christmas. Not even Thanksgiving yet, Phil. Don't rush it. No, Wait, relax. Know, Wait, just nice relax. To get out and see relax. It. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. All right, now it's time for a visit with that shy, retiring homebody, Howard Stern. Penny winds up her revealing talk with the real Howard. He's not like uh, you might think. Okay. Does this feel good? Are you married? <laughs> Remember, Howard, you're a married man. So let's get back to talking about you. How does Allison feel about what goes on with you and these women coming in and stripping in front of you? How does your wife feel about that? I have not had sex with another woman beside my wife. Um, for 19 years and it is somewhat interesting that I got famous and now I can't even act on that and have women because there's no doubt that I could have a lot of women now right including you <laughs> in a second in a nanosecond if there is such a thing we get back to the subject all right you can't go to Burger King can you? no with I your wife no and your no because first of all I think even if I wasn't uh, famous looking like this people would stare at me anyway. But I mean, like This is not the world's most, uh, most uh, usual face. <laughs> yes. It's the hair. Oh. Yeah, but I don't go to Burger King with the kids. You I don't, can't go, I don't do, do that. No, you I don't do that. can't go to Disney World with them? No, we tried that. I, you know what, actually Disneyland was okay for a couple of hours, and then all of a sudden a lot of New Yorkers were there and stuff, and they started to uh, really carry on. But I, I think that the opposite of that is worse, where people don't care about you, and you can walk around in the street, and your show isn't successful, and you're not making people laugh. That really, that really is the worst. What are you able to do with your family, truthfully, that you can enjoy with them? Well, and not sit around the house and eat popcorn. But well, I mean we, we, we literally, I sit around the house mostly, and do not leave the house a lot. And everything that, I, my, that goes on with my children goes on around the house. Do you think that's fair, though? I mean, do you ever say to yourself, you know, I, why can't I just go out, take the kids, take the wife, go out with my parents and have a nice dinner? I mean, you ever say, because I, I, yeah, I get, I, I, so there are times I feel like going out with my friends and just hanging out and not being the center of attention. I think it's right. better for me, especially even for my career, because my career is based on sort of knowing what you're up to, not what I'm up to. I want to know what's sort of going on and not always be the focus every minute of the day. And uh, I, I kind of miss that aspect, but I must tell you, I've been in both places where people didn't know who I was, and I always felt more awkward where people didn't know who I was. Why? I uh, am very awkward in real life. I'm, I'm very shy. I cannot, um, I don't deal well in real situations. The only place that I'm really truly comfortable is when I'm on the radio. And I feel that the genuine person inside of me is allowed to come out. I'm, I think that, you know, people say, gee, off the air, you're so quiet, and, you, and you're just so, you're sort of laid back. And I said, well, that's because I think we role play when we're off mic. Your highest moment. The highest moment in the show? Uh, no, well, in your life. In my life? In the show. Well, you're talking professionally yeah. or personally? Professionally. professionally, I think 
maybe the highest moment was the book hitting the uh, number one bestseller list. That that was pretty exciting stuff. That that comes to mind first. Personally. Uh, personally, I think uh, birth of my children. That was uh, pretty exciting to me. Very overwhelming. And there you have it. I'm Penny Crone, Fox News. And coming up next, the latest on how you are voting on Joey Buttafuoco. Then Carl has sports, including the Knicks and the Nets. The 10 o'clock news is coming right back. The one. A&S One Day Sale Wednesday. Store-wide. The one with 50% off all diamonds, necklaces, rings, bracelets, earrings, 50% off all cultured pearls, an extra 25 to 40% off already reduced Mrs. and Junior coats, leathers, action jackets, 30% off thousands of Mrs. and Junior sweaters, 30% off thousands of Mrs. Jog suits, those great Nine West leather granny boots, $69.99. Wednesday only. A&S One Day Sale. Stupid. After careful observation, it is clear that humans need choices. This is because not all humans like the same things. It is also clear that humans do not like choices being made for them, as this reminds them of how baby humans are treated. So when caring for humans, it is wise to give them many choices. Oxford. More than health care, human care. Double Power Whisk versus Tide Ultra. Whisk is concentrated really thick. Tide is thin by comparison. They both wash the same amount of laundry, so how come there's so much more Tide? You need more Tide to wash as much as Whisk, because Whisk is more powerful. It's thicker. Whisk gets out your tough stains better than ever. Concentrated Double Power Whisk. It's smaller, it's thicker. It's the best Whisk ever. At Lilco, we have many innovative programs to strengthen Long Island's businesses. After all, Long Island's future depends on the success of our business community. Lilco offers rate incentives and a variety of energy conservation programs. We also help companies make use of Long Island's highly skilled workforce. We're a one-stop service that works with government to help our businesses take advantage of tax incentives and cut through red tape. If you have a business on Long Island, call us. We want to help you succeed. Tonight's sports report brought to you by the new Dodge. See your nearby Team Dodge dealer. Dodge Caravan is America's favorite minivan. Why? Because it's always being improved. This year, both driver and front passenger airbags are standard. Why? To meet 1998 car safety requirements. Which is also why Caravan now has additional dynamic side impact protection. And there's an available integrated child safety seat that reclines. Why? Ask your mother. And during our safety leadership sale, Dodge Caravans also come with $500 cash back. Here are some results from our Fox telepoll. We asked, did Joey Buttafuoco get what he deserved? 87% of you said yes, he should have gone to jail. 13% of you said no, he should not have. There is still some time for you to tell us what you think. If you think he should have gone to jail, call this number, 1-900-786-8585. If you say no, he should not have gone to jail, then call this number, 1-900-786-8787. The call will cost you 79 cents. More results tomorrow on Good Day New York and final results on Fox News at noon. All right, Carl, here now with Sports Before you go any farther, the question is... Uh, will the Knicks? Could they do it? Can they do it? Can they? Do will it? they do it? Good to have you back, John. Nice to see you. Good to be back. Knicks back in action, looking to extend their perfect season to seven and zero, as my main man alluded to. No better place on the planet to get the job done, John, than Dallas, Texas, where the Mavericks are one and four on the season, zero oh and three at home this year. Patrick Ewing back in the lineup. You see what he did right there. Knicks had the early lead. They never looked back. Rolando Blackman got the starting call. From Pat Riley against his old team as John Starks goes to the hole. Ewing has the rebound and we go back the other way. The Knicks didn't have any problems tonight at all with the Dallas Mavericks as expected. There's Charles Oakley with the baseline jumper. 65-44, Knicks in the third. They go on to the 103-90 win. Guess what, John? They're 7-0. All right. All right, the Nets taking on the undefeated Rockets at the Meadowlands. Houston 6-0 coming in, always led by Hakeem. Nets stopped them right there with the block. Anderson turns it into two at the other end. 
Kenny with a triple double tonight, 84-84, just under two minutes to play at this point. Hakeem had 20 points, 19 rebounds, but a big block right here as Kenny tries to take it home. Hakeem says, get it out of here. About one minute to play, Mario Eli then at the other end, seals it with the slam. Houston is now 7-0, 90-84 to over the Nets. NBA notes the Pistons announced Isaiah Thomas out three to eight weeks uh, with a broken right hand. How did he do it? Well, teammate Bill Lambeer elbowed him in practice. Thomas threw a punch. He hit Lambeer in the head, busted his finger. See you later. From the NFL, linebacker Steve Diossi was cut by the Giants last week. He signed by the Jets today. Diossi, a 10-year veteran, of course, played with the Giants for so many years. With all the injuries, though, to Jones, Clifton, Bobby Houston, the Jets are hurting at uh, linebacker, so they signed Diossi and also 10-year veteran Mike Merriweather as well today. Referee strike is on, but it was still business as usual in the NHL with all the fights and uh, having the NFL or the NHL referees around anyway seems a little bit redundant in the NHL these days, but uh, they still had some substitute referees in there tonight. Mike Keenan made some substitutions of his own at the Garden tonight, pulling goalie Mike Richter for Glenn Healy. Healy hasn't seen action in about a month, but Keenan's hunch paid off tonight. And you see what I mean right here. Watch the glove save by Healy in the second period. A great job. And this is a guy that, like I said, hasn't played in a month. The offense then came alive shortly after that. Alexei Kovalov takes a stick in the head. The substitute refs are sort of watching the play as Kevin Lowe scores to make it 2-1 to one New York. Kovalov was okay. Alexei, you okay? He's fine. And so were his teammates. Tony Amante comes on with a tip in front. Rangers had three goals in the span of about a minute. Four to one after two periods, and they go on to win tonight over Florida. 4-2 final. The Rangers are now red hot, unbeaten in their last 11 games. Some sports notes. Former president of the Knicks and the Rangers, Jack Diller, named the Mets vice president of business affairs in Pittsburgh. The uh, Pittsburgh shortstop, Jay Bell, was named the Gold Glove winner this year in the Ozzy Smith's 13-year stranglehold on that position. And the University of Pittsburgh was hit with a two-year probation for recruiting violations, mostly in their basketball program. At the ATP Championships in Frankfurt, Germany, Michael Chang in the far court upset the winner this afternoon. Uh, yeah. The second-ranked player in the world, Jim Courier, goes down. Chang right here takes Courier deep and then sets him up with the overhead slam. Unforced error is a big problem for Courier today as he comes to the net and then knocks it straight in. And then match point with Chang serving in the far court. Chang, a 6-4, 6-love winner over Jim Courier to advance to the second round of the ATP Championships in Germany at the Virginia Slims. Number seven seeded Jana Novotna defeated Zena Garrison. That's sports, John. All righty, thank you, sir. And that is our report for tonight. I'm John Rowland. And I'm Koran Mahalik. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 9 to 10. Thanks for being with us. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Mary Jo and Joey Buttafuoco in front of a current affair cameras. Joey's just been... Coupon for Turkey Hill ice cream and a note that read, if you can't make it for dinner, you can still join us for dessert. <laughs>